Okay guys, so this is going to be a beginner video on how to connect your Shuriken 250 to clean flight here after you've bound it to your radio. So my copter right now has been bound to my radio. Um, you'll need to go to the Google Chrome App Store and download clean flight. Um, it's a very easy that it'll appear in your, let me go ahead and just uh, shut this down here. What you got to do is uh, click on clean flight. And telemetry recovered. And signal low. Telemetry lost. Okay, so I just unplugged this. So what you got to do is plug your USB plug into the back of your copter here. Now, it has to be said that you should have your props off. I've done this enough times that I know what's going to happen here. Uh, but if, if I ever leave my props on, I go ahead and put a towel on the top of it. So in case anything throttles up, it's called an uncommanded throttle up. You're, you'll have some way of uh, disconnecting your copter. So. so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the USB plug into the back of the copter, and you should hear this. Telemetry recovered. Okay, so um, once you're plugged in, there's gonna be a little button right here that says connect. We're gonna go ahead and hit that button, connect. And one of the very first thing you should, you should do is make sure that your copter is on a level surface, and you can hit calibrate accelerometer. It should take you about five seconds or so. And it says uh, that's done. Okay, so next thing we need to do is go to the receiver tab on the right side here. You guys might, excuse me, that's on the left side. You guys might not be able to see it, but go ahead and click the receiver tab. And basically we need, we need to make sure that all of our controls are doing the exact, the correct thing. So when I take, when I take my radio and push all the controls to the lower left hand corner, it should look like this. The first four channels should look like this. Here, I'm going to do it right now. All those should go down to the lo their lowest points when you're down and to the left. That means that all your channels are operating in the correct direction. Okay, so I have aux one set up on a two position switch here. Um, and I have, let's see here. So aux two, excuse me, no, I don't have that. Okay, so I have aux two set up on a three position switch. Okay, so guys, here we are in the modes tab. We have arming on aux one. So basically you want to set up two switches in your radio. Aux one is going to be a two position switch and aux two is going to be a three position switch. So stock from the factory, this has air mode on an aux two. I'm going to switch this to aux one because I want it to mirror my, um, my arming switch. So basically when uh, the copter is armed, it has air mode on, and when it's off, it's, um, it has air mode off. So basically that's always going to be on for me. That's my preference. Air mode, if you guys don't know what it is, you can check out one of Josh Bardwell's uh, videos. Okay, so we have angle and horizon mode. These are going to go on a two, uh, excuse me, these are going to go on a three position switch, which um, we'll add that in right now. So angle is the is the easy mode basically is all self leveling so I'm going to add range here I'm going to switch this to aux 2 which is going to be my three position switch and I'm going to change this here on horizon horizon allows you to do flips while doing self leveling as well I'm going to stick this as well on on aux 2 all right so so you see these sliders here when it's green that means it's activated let's see where the tick mark is here so, wrong wrong button okay so Okay, when it's fully up here on this radio here, what I want is I want it to be on angle mode. Angle is easy mode. I'm gonna slide the slider over here. Slide the slider over here. Okay, so that means it's activated. Uh, wrong button again. <laughs> okay, so it'll be activated uh, in angle mode. So in middle position, I want it to be in horizon mode, which is the center one right here. And when you have no when you have nothing selected here, that puts it into uh, acro mode. Um, so that that's no self-leveling at all. So basically I just need this switch, this switch here. I'm going to hit save here. That'll save our settings here. And it says EEPROM saved up here. So now when I flick this to middle position, it says horizon is active. Because it turns green, I'm going to go into easy mode, which is angle. Which is just like that. And then horizon grays out here. So here we go. We have arming switch here with air mode switched on and off with your two position switch and the three position switch as angle, horizon, 
and acro mode for uh, clean flight. Okay, that is it. Make sure you hit save at the end and you're basically ready to fly now. Now when you guys um, are, if you set it up the way I just had it, when you guys hit arm, the, the props are going to idle. That means they will spin up, so you have to be ready for that. It's not gonna take off, but it will sit there on the ground and idle. That is what uh, allows air mode to work because your um, motors are gonna be idling, and when you're flying and you get into an angle, it'll allow you to, um, to stay at that angle. Okay, so that is just a quick little overview on how to set up your Shuriken 250. 